today our topic is c implementation of runge gupta method fourth order before learning this video please learn previous part of this video where we already discussed about the formula and the mathematical implementation of rk4 method and today we will learn c implementation of rk4 method in our previous video we already learned about the formula for rk4 method so this is the formula for rk4 method we already discussed in our previous video please consult our previous video in our previous video we already solved this problem use runge gupta fourth order method to solve dy dx equals to x plus y where y0 equals to 1 at x equals to 0.1 and x equals to 0.2 so this is the formula for rk4 method we have to calculate the value of y 0.1 so f x y our function is x plus y h is 0.1 x 0 is initial value of x it is 0 and y 0 is 1 and by the formula we calculate the value of k1 k2 k3 and k4 after calculation we get the value of y 0.1 it is 1.1103 by this formula y0 equals to 1 by 6 into k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 and we already calculated the value of k1 k2 k3 and k4 so we get the result this is the value of y0.1 now we have to calculate the value of y0.2 so this is step 2 in step 2 here x1 is 0.1 and y1 is 1.1103 h is 0.1 and f x y is x plus y again we have to calculate the value of k1 k2 k3 k4 by this formula after calculation of this value the value of y 0.2 is y 0.1 plus 1 by 6 into k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 so we already calculated the value of k1 k2 k3 k4 and the value of y 0.1 is 1.1103 so after calculation we get the result now it's time to see how we can write the code so this is our coding here i declare one function f return type is float and also arguments are float here i declare two float variables x and y m equals to x plus y where m is a float variable here i am writing m equals to x plus y because our function is see our math dy dx equals to x plus y but if you are if you want to solve any other problem then that function you have to write within this function body okay now main in main i declare some float variable now first take the value of x0 y0 xn and h so what is the value of x0 see it is 0 what is the value of y0 it is 1 what is the value of xn it is 0 0.2 and what is the value of h it is 0 0.1 so first take this value from the user now see i am storing the value of x0 to the variable x and value of y0 to the variable y so x value is 0 and y value is 1 now i start one while loop while x less than xn so x is 0 and xn is 0 0.2 so this loop will execute till the value of x becomes 0 0.2 and i increase x within the loop c i increase x by 0 0.1 because each value is 0 0.1 so first time value of x is 0 then it is 0 0.1 and then it is 0 0.2 now this is the formula for rk4 method see this formula is written here after writing the formula for rk4 method now it's time to print the value of y0.1 and also y0.2 so it's time to run our program so when we run our program see enter the value of x0 y0 xn and h so what is x0 it is 0 what is y0 it is 1 what is xn it is 0.2 what is h it is 0 0.1 so 
when the value of x is 0 0.1 value of y is that is y 0 0.1 is 1.1103 and y 0 0.2 is 1.2428. So, the output of RK4 method is this. So, this is your programming assignment write a C program to implement RK4 method and if you are facing any problem please comment me in the comment section I will definitely help you. For getting more and more updates please please like share and subscribe my channel that's all for today thank you.